In this video I will explain how to compute the number of combinations of size k out of uh, n objects. First of all, let me remind you what a combination is. A combination is simply a collection of objects. So for example, if we allow ourselves to pick from five letters A, B, C, D, and E, uh, B, D is an example of one such combination. Uh, in this case, it's a combination of length two. Since it's not an ordered arrangement, uh, B, D is exactly the same combination as D, B. And if we look at the examples of uh, combinations of length 3, uh, we'll see that all of these are the examples of the same combinations of three objects, etc. So we are interested in finding the number of possible combinations of length k out of n objects and we use for the following notation to label such a uh, number so alternatively we can use this and alternatively we can use this so this is the number of combinations of length k out of n objects. Uh, we sometimes pronounce it as n choose k as the number of ways to choose k objects out of n. And to find it we have a formula it is n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial so let's do a couple examples let's find the number of ways to pick three objects out of five it will be five factorial divided by five minus three factorial times three factorial which is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Uh, the easiest way to deal with factorials is just to write them all out and then use the properties of fractions, reduce the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. In this case it is 3, 2, and 1. And then from what's left we can also keep reducing, so 2 goes into 4 twice. So what's left is 5 times 2 equals 10. Let's do another example. Let's find the number of ways to choose uh, 3 objects out of 7. It will be 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. And it will be 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial, 3 factorial. And writing out the factorials, now the greatest common factor here is actually 4 factorial, so I'm going to remove 4 factorial, and from what's left I'm going to keep reducing, so here I see 6 and 3 and 2, and what's left is 7 times 5, 35. 